first mission today, picking up Emma. Ferrari. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we have arrived. We have come to Joe Macari car dealership in London. Oh, sunny. <laughs> oh cold, yeah. Though. It is cold. This is ridiculous. So, Emma, so, what we're gonna do today is walk around, talk about as many of these cars as we can without making this an hour and a half long it's gonna video. Be tough. I feel like you might have to pick up your few favorites. favorites? I know, but I know it's literally, I mean, look in front of me. Your favorite child, but yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to like, go like that and pick five to talk about. It is okay. ridiculous. I mean, let, let's just start here with three of the big five from Ferrari. Uh, they're only missing, I'm sure they've probably got one in the back or at the workshop or something, but here, there is no 288 GTO that I've seen, but there is an F50. This is a beautiful example, classic F50 kind of spec. It's got that beautiful naturally aspirated V12 linked to a manual gearbox. Shmi has said that this is his favorite car. We were just trying to argue the fact, would you choose the F40, yes. which is the one over here? Or, or the, the F50. F50. Shmi says the F50, but I guess you would have to drive them to know. But for me, look wise, that, that's yeah, so yeah, compact, yeah. cool. But oh, it's, it's just a, that's a bit of me that one. For me, I think F40 as well. To be honest, I've never I've never driven either. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. well done us. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so but we, um, we really couldn't say. But yeah. I look wise to me, it would be the F40. I think so, right? It looks so so sick, and with these red seats inside, all the cars here are always in absolutely mint condition. Mm. Awesome, carbon exposed all over the place. Now this is a V8 twin turbo, also manual, however, does look so so cool. And then next to that, the Enzo, which I always really liked. I was never like completely blown away by when back in the day, but now I'm just complete. I think they've aged so well and still look awesome, and that's got to be one of my favorite cars in the world now. No. I've not answered any of these, so yeah. I have no say in them. It'd be more I... surprising if you had, <laughs> to be honest. Like that, yeah. All right, um, moving on. Swiftly. Yeah, moving on, but that is, the, I mean, V12 as well. However, this was the first of like the, the big five Ferraris that had the flappy paddles. This is the single that clutch the flappy paddles. It's no manual, single clutch gearbox. But these with an exhaust on them sound epic. And then actually, that's a pretty good way to swiftly move on to the next car, which is an MC12. So did you know that they're based on the same, you know, they've got the same base, MC12. 12 Maserati MC 12s and Enzo's yeah yeah yeah, yeah. because Ferrari own Maserati but so this is I mean this is obviously the um, Corsa so this is a race version but there is a road going version of the MC 12 of which they made 50 but it's got the same engine it's got the same gearbox just a slightly different body but same chassis and all that stuff as a Ferrari Enzo road version now probably i mean a couple of million just a few just, just, a, few, just a few mil just a few <laughs> um this is very nice i'm a massive fan of these Ford gt new Ford gt this is the classic spec resellable spec but these are awesome they're obviously selling for quite a bit more than list price now awesome awesome looking car with the black rims and this interior now this fun fact about this when you put it in track mode it literally just bounces down in one go you've seen that I've driven this. oh yes you have, I have. yes I what did you think day. So much fun. Yeah. So yeah, I had such a great time. How does it sound? It's not too well. From inside, it's not too bad. It's not. It's not insane. It's, it's not like crazy insane now. Yeah. But um, it's very enjoyable. It's a, it's a good noise. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I really do like it. Shmi's got one of these. Shmi's probably got most of the cars that I hear. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually just Shmi's second garage. Yeah. <laughs> This is a really cool TDF. TDS, I think it's 799 in the world. Really, really cool looking. This one with the red accents actually get continued through the interior of the car. Awesome. And we just saw that it's got signatures in the engine bay. It does, yeah. Which is pretty awesome. I really like that spec. People that worked on the car have signed it in like a silver pen. On yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Then we've got another TDF, which is very nice as well. Yellow. Yeah, classic yellow. I do like this stripe though. It is nice. But would you prefer it if it continued all the way down or do you like how it stops there? Um, I'd like a continuous line okay. all the way underneath. All the way underneath, yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> literally nice. all the way underneath yeah, and then back around, yeah. Back around Just looping around. around. Yeah. There are some people looking at a car here, so we, we're going to try not to make too, too, too much noise. But we've got two 812s, really, really nice, and a Barquetta down there. A what? Barquetta. I don't even know that. Yeah, <laughs> they're quite rare. They're pretty rare. I think it's a 550 Barquetta, but yeah, anyways, 812s, very nice. There is another 812 over there, so we can go see them. From being a car spotter who didn't. <laughs> 
Th these are cool. The Lara's. Proper race car, this. I actually did a video driving one, so that will be linked somewhere. A proper, proper race car, about 200,000 pounds. You can get it in full exposed carbon, which we will show you because there is a full exposed carbon one over there. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, there's one here. Um, these are the cars that I could afford. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is it. This is what know. we came to look at. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe this was like Enzo Ferrari's personal, you know, Baker's car. Yeah, the Baker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 actually, you know what? It does suit you. This is very cool. Aston GT12. These are, we were just talking like three to four hundred thousand now. Only a hundred made. And this color is awesome. Again, Shmi has, oh, he, well, he has a GT8, so as close as it gets. So this is the naturally aspirated V12 version. And then there is a V8 version. Looks mega, doesn't it? Looks mega. And you know what? It sounds just as good as it looks. Like these are known to sound unbelievable. All about that uh, that wing on the back. Yeah, the wing's good. The lighting's pretty tricky right now, but the wing is pretty impressive. Full carbon wing. Another car that actually sounds really good is this, Project oh, 7. Do you like Project 7? Yeah, pretty limited. I don't know exactly what the number is, to be honest. But naturally aspirated V8, these sound awesome. It's got the stitching, which now you get on SVRs. But yeah, awesome, awesome looking car. Throwback to the old D-type, C-type racers. See, that would bother me there. What, that there's only one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, they only made it like this. You can't get it. You can't get it with two. So yeah, you're you're oh, kind well, of out of luck to there. My list of things to buy then. Right? Oh, another TDF. This is, however, this is classic spec. Although this isn't uh, Rosso Corsa. This looks like. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice color. Don't know what this color is called, but inside, I mean, this is your kind of classic resellable spec with the black wheels, no stripe. It does look awesome though, really like that. Nice. Yeah, really, really cool. This, which actually, there is your favorite car here that we will show in a bit, which is along the same lines of this. This is a 996 GT3 RS, super rare. We were just talking about it. They only made about 200 of these, and apparently only 20% came off the construction line with the blue accents, because you can get them with the red accents as well. Hardcore manual version of the 996, which is most famous for having these frog lights. They call them in the front. So see how the lights are yeah. a different design to the normal 911 lights. They yeah. only ever did that on the 996. I'm learning a lot about cars today. So yeah, people didn't really like it, experience. so they they uh, they called them the frog lights. I don't know. They I mean, do look they, a bit froggy. there you go. See, but yeah, people didn't really like it. So then they, on the 997, which is the one you like, which is over there, they went back to the normal light. This is this is pretty cool. Only about 100 of these in the world. This is actually street legal. It's a 355 challenge race car, but that is also street legal that you can drive on the street. It's really what you want, isn't it? Something that you this can is cool. and drive on the street. Yeah, manual V8, they are awesome and sound That's incredible. Like yeah, with the with the wing. So apparently only 20 to 30 were actually made by Ferrari and then the other 70 to 80 were actually just retrofitted into Challenge based on normal 355s but retrofitted from dealerships. Um, but only 20 to 30 were actually from the factory. Right, here we've got a couple of cars and the main difference is the lack of a roof and mm -hmm. the difference in price. So 458 Speciali, naturally aspirated about 600 horsepower. Really, really cool V8 hardcore version of the 458 Italia. Now, the coupe, which is this one, all black. Really, really nice spec. You like this one, don't you? I really like this one. It's a really good spec. Um, yeah. I'm also a big fan of the 458. Yeah, me too. So, honestly, so uh, this is the successor to my Scuderia, mm -hmm. effectively. And this... Monaco and to see the Scud, yeah. But this is the next Ferrari I would buy, I, mean, I think. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I do like the 458 Italia, but Speciali would be the one. They, these are about 300,000 now. It would need to be a coupe because the Aperta, which is limited to, I believe, 499 in the world or 399, something like that. This is, so 300,000, that's about 650, 700,000. I mean, with a coupe. Yeah, a I'm like, coupe. listen, yeah. I'll keep the roof <laughs> and my 400 <laughs> grand. Yeah. Window down. yeah, I'll just put the window down. But, I mean, it does look good with the stripe. I, I mean, I see, I like this clean... Clean all look. Black, all black earthen. You know what? This is actually a really nice spec. This would be the one for me in terms of next. Because a lot of people ask, they're like, okay, now that do you have the Ferrari bug, are you always going to yeah. have a Ferrari? To be honest, like, I really, really do like Ferraris now. And I don't know, like, I would love to be able to say I'll always have a Ferrari. I have no idea what's going to happen financially. Yes. Yeah, yeah <laughs> who knows? But I feel like... 
this would be a natural next step. So, would you go yeah. all black? Or what color I would, would, I would. Be, yeah. I really, I, I've always liked sort of all black cars. So no, this, this is, a, I really like this. Mm. Super cool to be able to have a look around. Now, this is the 812 I was telling you about. So 812, it's actually in an olive green, oh, which yeah, is pretty cool. cool. You know, see it on the camera. Lewis Hamilton has a 509 GTO in a similar color. Did you know that? Yeah. yeah. From the car, yeah, he, he does. Wow. He's got two LaFerraris, he's got a coupe and a convertible. He's loving life, it's not bad, is yeah. it? Yeah, um, no, this is a nice color, obviously. V12 naturally aspirated. Oh, it's got an Alcantara steering wheel, not that many of them have that. And then inside, I'm just looking to see if there are any throwbacks to the exterior color. Yes, the Cavallino is in olive green as well. Oh, you can't really see that, it's gone completely out of focus, but yeah, the oh, stitching yeah. is olive what? green. Would you go this? Would you go this? Would you go 812? Would you go? A I think I'd go 458. I just for me, for me, I think it's more compact. It looks better. I've driven yeah. that. Yeah. It's pretty big, yeah. right? When you I drive it around. It's, for me, I'm quite small. You're, I yeah. mean, you're, you're taller than me, which is not hard, but yours yeah. are quite small. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that car's a lot to handle. Yeah. And we all know I it's agree. an absolute beast anyway to drive. But I, I mean, I had, we had four. That before. feels like it matches us better. Yeah. We had the 488 Pista and the 812 Superfast. And you prefer the Pista? Together. We had them on the same day um, and we had one on each day. Yeah. And for me... Yeah? Pista, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think, I think, speciality for me. Between yeah. those two, I mean, a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, 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 but honestly, okay. I, I would go speciality. I'd go speciality. Now, now here we've got a few other old, older Ferraris. Oh, here's another. The, another these are really cool. <laughs> yeah, but oh, we can't go over every single car. These are these are pretty cool. You like this? This is a 512 M. I'm very impressed with your car knowledge, Sid. Thank you. Sorry, ran out of memory, so I had to clear some memory on the card. Um, but, you know, these are very cool. But this you know very well. Again, <laughs> Shmi. <laughs> Shmi has had a couple of these. Uh, did you drive his? I didn't try. Um, I moved his in the parking lot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're very nice. But they've actually, really they've gone down in value quite a bit because they've kind of gone up and then now they're back down around the £200,000 mark. Spec, very cool spec, all dark. Oh, this is the Delara I was talking to you about, full carbon. Oh, crazy. Look, oh, you can only see it when you come up close. Yeah, it's actually the exact same color as the one I drove in Monaco. But let's talk about this Enzo, another Enzo. Would you take the black Enzo or the red Enzo? Do you know what? I'd probably go. Probably go red. Probably Would go you? Red, yeah. yeah, red is pretty cool. I think I'd go black. Would you? Yeah, I think this one looks absolutely epic. It's just such a beastly looking car. And then... It looks cooler in black. It does but look I cooler. I, would, I think I would just go Just red. because it's Ferrari. Yeah. You'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the classic thing. Yeah. Look at those Vespers behind you. But anywho. They're very cool. I saw them earlier. Next look. to that, we've then got the big daddy. The Laf. Uh, this is actually a Laf Aperta, which makes it even more special. This but so the, the Laf Ferrari replaced... The Enzo. V12, it's actually got hybrid assist, a little bit of electric power going on in there as well. And they only made 150, I believe, of the Aperta. Really, really nice. That is millions and millions of pounds. I was actually going to say earlier when you were talking about the Enzo, the front end looks like the left. But Clearly my yeah. car is yeah. nothing like <laughs> it yours does. and it then does. replaced it, so there you go. But no, you can tell usually that it's an Aperta just from these little details, because that comes, the, the red details on this, oh, really? that's like a laugh only kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure some people have put it on a, on a coupe. Uh, you'll be able to see, so remember, those details, those lines, that mm -hmm. stripe on this one, you'll see later when we see the coupe that it doesn't have it. These are very special. Uh, Zagato Aston Martin Vanquishes. So the Zagato is a, like, tuning house. Or well, tuning house, that's probably the worst thing you could possibly call them. They are a design house that modify various cars and have a long line of history with Aston Martin. You can see all the Z logos and the stitching, and they have made these very bespoke Vanquishes. I believe there's four of them. So the Vanquish Coupe, Roadster, this is the Shooting Brake, and I think there's there's one more. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a, another kind of Roadster, Speedster type. And yeah, the, this is the one I think though. For me, the Shooting Brake I think looks the best. Pretty cool. Right? Yeah. Family car? Yeah, I like these. Yeah, the lights are really cool. No, I mean, these are awesome. And these were selling for about a million quid. At one point, yeah, I think they've gone down quite a bit now, more towards like 600,000, 650, something like that. And usually people buy them as like the pair or the four of them. Now this, okay, so wait, we'll get to that because I know, I know this is your favorite, but first of all, this is pretty cool. This I believe is, yeah, it is a GT2 RS. Easiest way to tell is it's obviously a RS product, but it's got the air intake right there, which they didn't do on the GT3 RS of the 997 generation. So this is a 997 based on a 997.2 GT2 RS means it's got the turbocharged engine and this actually has a manual gearbox. Look at the look at the pink dice. <laughs> oh yeah. 
It's got the pink, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. And then full carbon hood there as well, you can't really see, there you go. These are really rare, going up in value, obviously manual. The new GT2 RS you can't get in manual. Very cool, good investment. Another good investment, Speedster 997. So this is kind of a throwback to back in the day. So it's got what they call the Fuchs wheels, I believe. Really, really cool looking. And then it's got this kind of double bubble roof hood hider thing design, which is awesome. And then the translucent lights. I think they call them. It's quite cool. Yeah. I'm not a massive. Yeah, I mean, it's not like your type too much yeah, because really. you're more RS. More but boring. they're very rare yeah, very and they're good. going up and like, oh, this has the PDK. I didn't realize. A bit of a shame, I'm not gonna lie. But no, yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. Now, this is Emma's favorite car. And this is actually probably. Since we've come into the showroom. Yeah. If I'm thinking, like, what's a bit of me? Obviously, this is it. The left. Yeah. I mean, to, you know what? This is actually probably one of my favorite ones in the showroom. And this is the car. Oh, it's open. Go on. I'm in. I'm in. You're in. This is where the alarm gets set off. No, it is It is awesome. Is this Alcantara? Yeah. yeah. Bit used because these are a few years old now. But this is based on the 997.2. Now, this spec, if you were, we were saying, if you were to tell, it does suit you. Think? Yeah, it does suit you. If you were to tell anyone I've ordered the car in dark blue with red accents and red like wheels, you'd be like, yeah, you're mad. But then when you see it, it actually works. I really like it. And these, last GT3 RS to have a manual gearbox, which is awesome. Naturally aspirated as well. This is, I was so close to buying one of these. So, so close. Instead of the Scud. This was like the... the Obviously my brain's going crazy. Yeah. Like to think... Gonna pay for this. How, how am I going to get one of these? No, that? honestly, like I'm still really am considering one of these. I think they're a great investment as well. Last manual GT3 RS. I mean, that's going to hold its value. Yeah, I think so. And Porsche's quite good for holding its value anyway. Yeah, and they didn't make too many. I mean, they made a four liter it's version. Really this is 3.8. 3.8, yeah. The four liters are like. 350, 400 grand, so oh, you know, it is it awesome. Lot. Yeah, and my birthday in August, maybe I'll start a crowd fund. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> to get a GT3 RS 997. Yeah. We're not gonna have time to talk about all the cars. It's just too many. Yeah, because this is gonna be a really long video. Mono. BAC Mono, yeah, that's actually, let me just show the steering wheel. Imagine driving this on the motorway with that steering wheel in front it's of you. Yeah, because these are road legal, aren't they? Yeah, road, road completely legal. road legal. It's insane. That's pretty cool. So, this is the laugh, the coupe. Oh. And this is the classic laugh effect, so red, black roof, it's got the carbon mirrors. Yeah, the side mirrors are really intense. What's written in the center there? 200764, don't know what that means, on the steering wheel. Usually people write their name or whatever. No, it is, this is awesome. So see, it doesn't have those stripes, because it's a coupe. Um, so they made five, well, 499 of these, uh, which is pretty, yeah. Yeah, it, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, awesome, awesome looking thing. So that's laugh number two here. Last car I want to show, I mean, pretty special Mura right there. But if we were to talk about all of the old cars here, we would be here for ages. Last one I want to talk about in terms of the modern ones, 599 GTB. I really like these. I don't know, there's something about them. I think it's because when I was car spotting, it was kind of like the car. So it's always had a special place in my heart. But yeah, I mean, that is a walk around what Joe Macari have at the moment. The two cool cars for me to see here, 458 Speciali, that one right there, just because that would be, that would be the next Ferrari for me, I think, which sounds ludicrous to say, but whew, I love that car so much. Or the GT3 RS, your favorite car, Emma? Yeah. That right there. Um, I just think it's so special. So the top three for me would be the Speciali, the Laf, and the... That's pretty good. Is that a good choice? Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. Those are my top three, yeah. I would say. I'd say, I'd say same, yeah? probably. Yeah, yeah or probably. the 4 GT. I really like the 4 GT yeah, as well. Yeah, 4 GT's good as well, good as well. But yeah, anyways, thank you, Emma, for being on the channel. Thanks for we um, also made, me. Yeah, yeah, we made a video on your channel you with the R8 and stuff, because obviously we drove here in the R8. Is mm -hmm. it focused? Yeah, there we go, sure. now it's focused. Yeah. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Emma's channel as well. I'll put all the links down below, and we'll be seeing you again very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.